about having common skills and a, and a common just amongst juniors. It's about getting agreement and collective approach. So today I'll give a general intro, rationale and agreement of the plan for the plan, if you like. So again, it's the third time I've said it already. I've been here five minutes. Without you, this is nothing. So this isn't, you must do it this way. This is me saying, this is what I believe is best. What do you reckon? How can we fit it in? Um, next Monday, I fly in on Monday and I'm basically coming straight to your to your club. We'll then go through a, you'll have had a week to think about what we've discussed today. And then we'll talk about what it is you actually want to drill down on as a club, what you think is important. Now we plan it. Now, I think this is the bit that gets quite exciting because Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm running a clinic at your club with, with the kids. Now, my utopia, my absolute perfect perfect vision for this is that most of you guys are assisting me with that clinic and we're actually delivering the clinic together. So I don't know how many of you are available next Tuesday, but my vision for this is that I'll get there early before the session. I'll talk you through the session. I'll be telling you about it on Monday anyway. And then we'll do it and then we'll review it and then we'll look at what we do on Wednesday. If you come to me after this chat and during the week and say, Lee, I want to see this on the clinic next week, we will do it, right? And again, for the fourth time, I'm going to say it's about what you want, not what I sit here and force down. I just hope that I can encourage you and show you and inspire you to, to, do, to do certain things. And then after that, I'll do another Zoom when I'm back here in Brisbane and we'll talk about implementing it in 2023. Because as much as coaches like to look at drills and activities, the real key is how you deliver it, how you implement it, how you periodize it during the year. When you are coaching at a club, you, you have to have a, a half an eye on the future. There's three things that step out and jump out for every top academy in the world. It might be that I just imagine one coach there sat there quietly on his Zoom thinking, I'm not coaching the same as such and such because I want to do this and I want to do this. Well, a good academy puts the, puts the wiggle room in for both, but there might be just one or two things that thread through. So two rugby league examples that I'm going to give you plenty about are the Penrith Panthers. Penrith Panthers right now are the result of 10 years of change. And I'm going to show you some footage from Penrith from the other week from the semi-finals. And I'm going to, we're going to have a look at their skill level. I've been showing it to all the kids in the academies, that, the clinics that I've been doing the last two weeks. And I've just been picking a random point in the game to have a look at the way they grip, pass, catch and carry, the way they um, transfer the ball, the way they tackle, et cetera, et cetera. And then the other one, and this is where... I want you to believe in what I'm giving you is a place called Ipswich State High School. Now, the whole reason this came about is a while back I sent a big document that was 146 page long, pages long. And that was something I wrote exactly 10 years ago. And I took over a team that were in the third division league and I put in this big 146 page document, said, right, we're doing this. I'm putting a big system. Coached there for five years. We went undefeated for the first two. Ended up in the top division, finished second in the top division for my next three years. So I left and set up another one somewhere else. Ipswich State High School, four weeks ago, were made national champions of Australia in schoolboy rugby league. And the same systems are still being used to this day. There is, I mean, everybody's a slightly different human, obviously. <coughs> but 90% of what I put in place still happens today. And they literally just followed the system. And we've had junior success. And that system has chucked out, I think, 80 or 90 NRL contracted players. That, that, that school has now beaten schools that have been doing it for 80, 100 years, in 10 years. And to, to, to let you know that the system works, I then moved to another school, got them from the third division, did exactly the same, and they and Mabel Park finished fifth in that same competition. So I guess what I'm saying is I believe in this system, but you've just got to be patient with it. Now, what I saw when I was looking at this with the kids, and this is uncanny, there's actually a subtle difference in quality between the core skill of Penrith and Parramatta. If you compare, so Dylan Brown now catches the ball on his stomach, and by the time he's processed where he is and everything, he's already had to track his run 
to go into the line because the defence has rushed up on him. Now, of course, there's Rook considerations in there as well. But the reality is he didn't have anywhere near as much time as Nathan Cleary did two minutes ago with the ball because he caught it on his stomach. And the option of him passing the ball was gone because he caught it on his stomach and had no time to play. Um, now, have a look at the difference in time. And again, I know there's Rook considerations because look at the, the Parramatta defence. They're only just getting back. But look at the difference of time now Nathan Cleary has. And I would argue that 50% of it is how he caught the ball. And my job is to help you get to that stage. LT, ST, long-term, short-term. Short-term coaching, putting your team together that weekend. <laughs> you're playing there, Johnny. You're playing there, Billy. You're playing there. We're going to run that way. Long-term, all those things are put in the previous slide about the ideal player arriving in first grade. So I would argue that a junior coach at the youngest end of the scale in your club has to be coaching something like 80% for the long term. Regardless of the club, you're, you're talking about coaching that kid to have a better life most of the time. As the year goes on, so moving down the columns, you might go a bit more short term because you're in the season. The season takes over and you have to think about what's going on that Sunday. But in the off season, you can really focus on the long term. And as you go across horizontally, you'll see that a little less goes to the long term and more and more goes to the short term. And that's because it's a curriculum.